for tonight and going into Wednesday? Yeah, they're trying to clean up these roads as fast as they can here in New York City, also up in Boston, thousands of vehicles out on the road. Uh, we do know that schools so far in New York City are on for tomorrow, but Boston, they already canceled schools tomorrow due to, to high volume of snow. A lot of this is just a precaution, though, so people stay off the road so they can actually clean them up. But, but here in New York, if you see behind me now, roads are starting to get clear. Cars are back on the roads. I was able to Uber here this afternoon. <laughs> you guys get this. Broadway shows even still open. So wow. well, we're, we're, you know, it takes a lot to shut us down. That's right. Good litmus test right there. <laughs> okay, we'll leave it at that. Maggie, really, thanks so much. Reporting live from New York. <laughs> Allison. All right. Thanks to both of you. And, you know, the storm is bringing coastal flooding to parts of New England. Look at this video. We're hearing reports that strong winds toppled a wind turbine on a Rhode Island Island Beach and in Connecticut the governor suggested the people who could should stay home and bake cookies or brownies <laughs> and then he actually sent a tray of homemade brownies to some members of the media who still had to work that was thoughtful. That's my kind of guy. Yeah. <laughs> and just as the snow began to hit full stride in Boston, Maryland native Dan Guzman snapping this picture of the Wienermobile parked outside a hotel in Cambridge. His caption things are going to be okay. <laughs> there you go. Very funny. Well, uh, time now to take a look at what this is actually Blacksburg, Virginia, uh, mm -hmm. back behind us. And it's aerial shots. It looks like a drone shot mm -hmm. of uh, the snow they got out there. Very nice. Very yeah, cool. so yeah. it's pretty widespread. But again, just the whole effect, and Maggie pointed that out in New York City, just the fact the storm is so big and so close to the coast part in the warm air. So now they're getting sleet and freezing rain and a whole mm -hmm. mess. But uh, it's almost done. Yeah. Northern New England is still getting crushed with oh, heavy boy. snow. Wow. Uh, Steve Rudin has been out in Storm Track 7 this afternoon, still is, and been uh, checking in on some of the uh, roadway effects and the concerns we have now the snow and the sleet and the rain's finished. What are we worried about next, Steve? I have a hunch it has something to do with the temperatures. Exactly. It is cold out here and a good news in terms of what it looks like here in Fairfax is that a lot of the sidewalks are cleared out for the most part and some of the sidewalks are even treated with just a little bit of salt, but a little bit of salt can go a long, long way. The problem is look at this parking lot here. It's totally cleared. They plowed it out earlier today, but with temperatures tonight that are going to fall well below freezing, we're going to look for these puddles that are going to refreeze and that will likely cause problems for the early morning rush hour commute come tomorrow. And then if you have to get outdoors in the morning, maybe walk your dog or get the newspaper, sidewalks and porches are going to be extra slick. Another story, if you have anywhere to go this evening, make sure that you bundle up hat. I don't have one gloves. I left mine at home, but you're going to need them. I promise you. And this is the reason why the winds are beginning to kick up. We have wind chill factors right now in the 20s, even the teens out to the west in Winchester. But look at Elkins, West Virginia. Feels like temperature there right now at only eight degrees. Was talking about how everything is expected to refreeze overnight, causing problems come early tomorrow morning. We head back inside to Chief Meteorologist Doug Hill with more on that. Steve, if I've told you once, I've told you a hundred times, don't go out in the snow without your hats and gloves. You're going to catch your death of cold. Come on. Come I know. On. <laughs> All right. Good job. We'll talk to you next hour. I know. So a live look at the Capitol right now. Some breaks in the overcast some patches of blue. Can you make out the flags right there? Whoosh. I mean, out of the uh, north northwest. So it's the winds, a little bit of clearing and cold air descending on the nation's capital. The whole viewing area tonight It's 39 still at Reagan National. West northwesterly winds at 24 with higher gusts. Now, just imagine these same winds tonight when the air temperatures are like 22 degrees. That's going to drive the wind chills into the single digits and teens. And of course, uh, almost a, a guarantee that we're going to have lots of icy issues late tonight and overnight with the uh, water and mush and slush solidly refreezing. 31 in Hagerstown now, 35 in Baltimore, 42 at Quantico, Fredericksburg at 45 degrees. And uh, the wind speeds have continued to be rather brisk. Look at that at the airport in Leesburg, 33 mile per hour sustained winds with higher gusts. And that will be a feature tonight. In fact, it may be even gustier around here tomorrow. So not a lot of uh, pleasant weather to look forward to. It feels like it's 33 in Warrington right now, but look in the colder air with the same kind of winds. Feels like 17 in Winchester and Hagerstown. So it is going to be a cold night. In fact, we're going to see a kind of a repeat tomorrow night again with the very cold air and the refreeze. Another snow shower on the far back edge of this entire system now still moving across the northern suburbs through Montgomery County, Carroll County, Frederick County into northern Prince George's and Anne Arundel. So some of it just flurries, but in the darker shades, those are the areas where we're seeing a steadier snow shower may briefly whiten the ground.
around, but in those areas above freezing, it will quickly melt. And here's a big look at the storm. I mean, it's a monster up there, but again, the intrusion of the warm air, coastal sections rain into the cities, but interior New England, southern Quebec, tons of snow and very high winds. Our future cast here will give you a look at things through the day tomorrow. Gusty winds, we'll get a little sunshine, maybe a passing flurry or two. Temperature wise, we'll do about 35. Most of the Northeast and Great Lakes will stay way below average in temperatures tomorrow with only a bit of a warm up by the end of the week. Our hour by hour shows the air temperatures falling. We'll shave another 10 or 12 degrees off that chill. Tomorrow about 35 with a passing flurry. The weekend, We'll start on St. Patrick's Day. We'll get up in the upper 40s. Could be a late night shower into Saturday morning. And then as we uh, look forward to, uh, you know, Saturday and Sunday, we get all excited about Saturday's warmth into the upper 50s, turning cooler on Sunday. Steve will be back here in a little bit, and he'll take a uh, fresh look at the 10-day outlook and see if there are any signs of spring weather. With we know spring begins on Monday, but mm -hmm. doesn't mean that we're going to have spring weather. Right. Well, will he, have his, will he have his gloves this you time? You know that little oh. rodent up in Pennsylvania may turn out to have the last laugh on all of us, Your won't friend. he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Maybe so. You're right, actually. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Right, thanks. Well, here's a tough question. What do you do when an unwanted guest stops by and stays <laughs> for a full year? Oy. Well, you'll see an entire community's answer to that coming up. I'm Mike Carter Canine at And Pizza in Chinatown. Coming up, how several couples braid the cold and snow to celebrate their pie day weddings here at the restaurant. But first, here's a look at what's coming up tonight on ABC. And now, here's Autrey Godfrey with what you can expect tomorrow on Good Morning Washington. Thanks, Allison. Tomorrow on Good Morning Washington, we are live across the DMV with continuous coverage on the aftermath of this late winter whiplash. Our team keeping an eye on slick road conditions and how your commute is shaping up for the morning rush. And stay with us for traffic and weather every 10 minutes tomorrow morning starting at 425 on Good Morning Washington.